Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, the 1st of August, and you're looking at a pile, and I mean a pile, of topsoil. I don't believe that when we bought this property, there was that much topsoil on the whole farm. <laughs> And now you can see, yeah, look at this. And I'm going to show you in this video how I make topsoil. But so good. And this is nowhere near the amount. I could literally fill this bin up right now with topsoil that I've made here in the Philippines where there is little to no such thing <laughs> hardly at all and as you can see there's my uh, compost pile that used to take up the whole bin here and now I've got it in half the bin and I moved some of it around but I'm going to quick show you here how over the last few years I have actually made topsoil and as you can see by the ground here, and anybody that lives in this part of the Philippines, uh, the soil is mostly clay. Oh, you might have an inch on top of what you may call <laughs> topsoil with uh, some form of nutrients in it. But uh, in comparison with uh, the topsoil I'm used to from being and growing up in the Midwest in the United States, uh, not really. Oh, look at this. We've got, ah, Midnight's here. Yeah, Whiskey's here. Mickey's here. Yeah. As you can see, what I've been doing every single year I've been here, and this is year number six for the garden field rows here, I actually put, dig up the soil first, and I mean, it comes up in chunks, so I'm probably down maybe six inches uh, below the surface here. And uh, I put it in two rows all along here, as you can see. I dig it up, and of course, like I said, it comes up in big chunks. Then I go through with my digger, and I break up the chunks, and then I add compost. And how I make the compost, if you've watched any of my videos, is basically green stuff, dry stuff, pile it together. Uh, try to keep it moist if you can. Turn it once in a while. Uh, in the dry season, it really doesn't do nothing but dry out. But as soon as you get a little bit of rain, uh, the dry season actually breaks it up. It dries out and it continually breaks up. And of course, we got chickens feeding on it here, so it really breaks it up pretty good. <clears throat> and uh, adding compost to it, build it up into a row again, and then do your planting. We've had uh, a lot of failure and some little success when we first started doing this, and instead of being frustrated, I just kept up the process. And every year, I go through and redig the rows up, and especially after the dry season, like I've been doing now. As you can see, there's kind of a dried out row right there, and then this row here. And after six years, I have <laughs> actually some good topsoil. and dark, dark topsoil. And I mean this whole row, from the ground level up, and I'm sure down below. And what I do also <coughs> is when it rains, it'll loosen this up here, in between the rows and in the middle. When it rains, it'll loosen that up. I'll go through with the shovel and I'll take maybe a half to quarter an inch, just skim it off the top, throw it on top of my row. 
that's generally some pretty good soil. And of course, when the planting season's over, we pull the plants, we leave it sit. I'll dig it up again. I'll break all the chunks up. And you soon, after three, four years, you're not breaking chunks that much. Or, as you dig it, they break apart pretty much by themselves. And what you wind up with then is some good topsoil. And this is basically <clears throat> all the composting I've done and added it to. And you can see the little bits of leaves in here. Of course, the grass is just from our mowed grass here. But uh, little bits of uh, uh, everything in here. And that's a good mixture of what I would call topsoil. And, of course, it's got the nutrients in it. And it's got it naturally, organically, it's got the nutrients in it. <clears throat> so what I'm doing now is going down the middle of the rows because they're actually getting too big, too tall. And I'm taking shovelfuls and hauling it over to the compost bin there. And what I'm actually taking over there is topsoil. What I have left in the rows here, as you can see, I've still got two huge rows. I could probably even take some more out of here and actually finish topsoil. Uh, and it works. It's taken us a long time to reach this point. Uh, as you can see next door, in the row here, I've done it here. And of course, I planted cucumbers here and planted empalia. And on the other side, it's starting to come up. But basically, these, these rows are probably a good foot high and probably two feet wide. And that's a lot of topsoil. And when the planting season gets done, I can actually take that. I'll add more compost to it again. As you can see, everything between the rows here, all the leaves and everything else, actually goes into the rows. That's how you make topsoil. <laughs> and make good organic soil. And it's so important that you be persistent <laughs> in your efforts. Uh, this doesn't come easy. This, this is a long, slow process. And that in order to turn what used to be clay into good fertile topsoil that now we can raise some crops on. And I think we're going to have an excellent year this year. But uh, this is how you do it. And I'm glad, like I said, I initially put stuff in the rows here because we get a deluge once in a while. And it'll wash everything out. It'll literally comes down so hard. But uh, by putting it in the rows, I, uh, I kind of avoid being washed out and that the water will wash down uh, between the rows and uh, at the ends here. But also, it, it keeps the moisture in the rows and the roots will reach down and get that moisture that they need from it. I've never had a problem with them not being able to reach down and, and get that moisture. But that's essentially, like I said, as I add more and more to the rows, I'll have more good topsoil. And, that, and what we're doing now when we're planting the trees, when we're digging out the clay out of the hole, we're putting none of the clay back in. We're actually putting good, firm topsoil in with the compost for the trees so they should do it extremely well and again it, it's a continual experiment to do what needs to be done but folks if you want to make some topsoil <laughs> that's essentially how you do it and it works as you can see by the pile up here i know some people have said you should bag that up and uh uh, and be able to sell it and that I'll have to kind of think about that it may be a an idea right now uh, to our friends and that I'll just give them a bag or two if they want some stuff to start some plants but uh, 
that's a possibility down the road as we get further along here. So, just wanted to show you, uh, it's labor intensive. I'm not going to deny <laughs> or tell you that it's easy. Uh, and it's taken us a lot of years because the soil here is so poor. And uh, it grows certain things. Yes, it does. It grows coconut trees. It grows banana trees. Uh, but I, I think we could do a whole lot better than that. And that's what I'm trying to do. Improve on the agriculture. And then plus start to grow vegetables. And to be able to uh, use and sell those vegetables. So, from the back of the camera, everybody have a good day. And God bless every single one of you.